Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Pavilion X360 laptop here. The specific one, is, the model for this one is an X360 13-S101 and the 13 stands for 13 inch and the model would be S101. The last two uh, letter after 101 LA or CA that's for the country code that means ca for canada la for latin america and on, so on and so forth and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to remove your battery or replace your battery for this model if your battery is not holding up any more charge and you want to replace it this video is for you all right it's really simple to do this process simply all you need to do is turn it off you will need to grab yourself a screwdriver set Grab the iFixit, I'll recommend you guys to get the iFixit tool set. They have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel, which will last you a longer period of the time comparing to any other brand. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one. You can get the pro set, which they include you at tweezers and some opening tools. I'll leave the link in my video description. Or you can just grab a guitar pick. A guitar pick is really a metallic one is really suitable to opening covers um, laptop cell phones the soft edges will prevent it from scratching it's really hard to scratch and you will need a tweezer all right first thing first on the bottom of the laptop you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws remember that there are a few hidden screws all right uh, yours might have a little uh, label right on top here like this ones here look they're just coming off so there should be another one right over here. There should be one more over here. So remove this one with a really sharp tweezers or with a cutter, just lift them up. There should be three of them. And then there's this rubber uh, foamy things here. You wanna remove these rubbers, just poke through them and lift them up. There are two of them, one in there and one right over here. All right. And there is one, two more screws, and this one is already they lost the rubber legs in here. There's a, this back by the hinges. Remove this back rubber legs. They have a little adhesive to them, so you have to lift it up and remove them. If you want to change, you can put a double-sided tape or a drop of the uh, glue. And there's a one screw under each leg. So all these screws down here, they are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So we're gonna go ahead and remove all the screws. Also, I realized there's only 1% of my viewers are subscribed to the channel. And if you guys wanna support the channel and if you find my content useful, you can just do it by clicking like and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. And it will really motivate me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions. And as I always try to help everybody here, that they have problems with their laptops or electronics. There we go. Once we remove all the screws down here, what you need to do is to open up the laptop, grab your opening tool. Now you want to stick the guitar pick or the opening tool between the top and the bottom cover, just like that, all the way through. It goes about three or four centimeters. And this one is broken corners, they dropped it. So what you want to do, you want to twist it towards the outside, like that. And do it every one centimeter, just do all the front side. I'm going to do it this way. And do the side, right and left, all the way to the back corner. Same thing here, all the way to the back corner. And then you can just simply grab the front, lift it up and wiggle it around a little bit slowly. Don't yank it up. Because under here you have two flex cables. The flex cable for the trackpad and the keyboard flex right here. To remove the flex cable is really simple. All you need to do is to put your finger right at the back of this jack, right where the black cover is, and lift it up 90 degrees. And pull out this, slide out the flex cable. For the keyboard is the other way around. The cover is in the other side, so lift it up 90 degrees and slide out the jack slide out the cable and that's how you remove the 
and Palmeris. I made a video how to upgrade your hard drive if you want to check that video out. But in this video, we're gonna uh, remove this battery right here. First, we're gonna disconnect the battery is right over here. We, I usually don't like pulling on the cables. Nothing's gonna happen if you pull on them, but some people whine about it. So I'm just gonna show you the proper way. The proper way of pulling these cables out, there's a little notch right in here and right over here. So you wanna open up your tweezers, put it on the corners right over here, and then you wanna slide it back. So that way you don't have to pull on the cables. Okay, that's how you disconnect the cable. Now we're gonna remove this bridge flex cable right over here by removing it, lifting up the lock 90 degrees, lift up and pull it. There's a little adhesive to it, so just peel it off. And on this side too, you see this side says MB, that means motherboard side, and this is IO, which is your IO side. So go ahead and remove. All right, now the rest should be really easy. The battery is held up by four screws, one right here by the jack, one right by the CMOS battery, right over here, one right by the speaker. There's a tiny white arrow, so remove the screws by the one beside the arrows. And then you can go ahead and lift up by the cable here, remove this tape right here. Let me see if there's one more screw. No, no. So this should come out. So lift it up from here. There's a tiny clips here. So lift it up from here upward and pull it back. But there's a tiny clips here that go right on this side. So if it's right down here, lift it up from here. Put your this empty space, your finger right there, and lift it up from here and pull it out. This is the battery. This the model is an LE. 03 xl battery that's the model for the battery but if you want to get the battery directly from hp spare hp spare part it's 79 63 56 005 that's the spare part part model from directly from hp all right i'll try to get some links for these ones so you guys can um, purchase them if you need let's say that you got the new battery in here so all you need to do is to bring to put this side down first and uh, lay it flat down and put the four screws for the battery. Also, if you want to remove the CMOS battery, this one is right over here. This is for to keeping date and time. If your battery runs really low and when you turn it on, the date and time, the BIOS configuration, it goes away is because this battery is dead. So it has a little adhesive, lift it up and pull out the jack and you can replace it, this one, easy. This is your CMOS battery. All right, now that we plugged in this one here, we're gonna put the IO side of the bridge. And this one has a little earlobe on them. So I don't know if you guys can see the tiny earlobes on the sides over here, on every corner. So you can't just slide it under the jack. You have to bring it down in 45 degrees and then set it down toward the board and then lock it down. So I'm gonna bring it down in 45 degrees all the way inside the jack and then push it down towards the motherboard and then I'm gonna lock it. Same thing here. I'm gonna bring it down in 45 degrees right through the pins all the way in and push it towards the motherboard and then lock it down. Otherwise, if you try to push it straight down, it's not gonna go. It's pretty much you have to land the airplane so you just go land it in 45 and set it down and then lock it. All right, that one is done. Now we're gonna connect the con jack. It's easy to connect. You see this on the other side of the jack, there is no pins showing. On this side, you're gonna see little tiny pins uh, that are showing exposed. So you want this side facing up. And put it straight in front and slide it right through the jack and push it all the way in. And accommodate the cables right in there and you should be set. Now you want to grab the palm rest, adjust the palm rest right on top, make sure the locks are open here, grab the flex cable for the, uh, for the keyboard. Again this one has a little earlobe so you have to bring it down in 45 degree angle, degrees and then all the way through the jack, pull the back, hold it down and then lock it in place. Same thing for the trackpad. 
45 degrees and then lock it in place now what you need to do is just bring it down and just pinch the top and the bottom cover you should hear a few clicks do that all around go to the back to the sides make sure you click all of them and you should be set to go and the last thing would be to just flip it upside down putting down all the screws and the covers for the screw holes i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own battery replacement for your laptop this one was an hp pavilion x360 13-s101 model if you like this video you know what to do click that like button and if you want to subscribe to the channel you can support it just by subscribing and if you have any questions or requests leave them in the video comment area and i'll try to answer them as soon as i can thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video i'm just going to finish up putting up the screws